Uh, I grew up in Winnipeg, Canada. Winnipeg, okay. It's like 700, 800,000, I guess. And winters are brutal. And I fell in love with the way I could make the world change with, you know, as the words came. Holy shit, I just made it cloudy. Yeah, yeah you did right. With my words. You said, it was yeah. not cloudy and now it is yeah, cloudy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It changed the world. <laughs> the, the being too critical thing mm -hmm. is probably the biggest problem for anybody who wants to write. I, mean, I think we just know as humans that when we stick our necks out, they, you know, they could get chopped. There's a risk, yeah, there's a risk, yeah, exactly. You could get hurt. Yeah. And when you, <laughs> they don't understand me, they don't yeah, get it. Yeah. Oh, but they say, have a voice. What does that even mean, have a voice? It's a paper. I see. If you do it properly, like Matt Chastain and Small Group, right? Mm -hmm. So with that with, with that writer, with, mm -hmm. with, I, I worked with him for like the better part of a year and a half. Mm -hmm. We had a million dollar budget, it was a good, yeah. it was a paying, good, good, good paying gig. Uh -huh. But we could not afford like the bells and whistles of SAG at the top like Hollywood uh, tier, see, yeah. which is what they were gonna charge us. Mm, yeah, you know yeah. fake Guatemala? Uh, one thing I noticed about me. I taught at UGA for like a minute, right? Okay. I, did, I taught for two semesters. And, okay. <laughs> and my, my focus was on IP development and indie film in America, American, okay. in, American indie film, okay. directing. And uh, you know, I bagged my students, I was like, don't, you know, get your start making movies. Mm -hmm. Then go to the series. Go to all these great series directors and stuff. These guys, these guys started in hey, film. Do you want to uh, talk about Don's Plum? Well, I'll talk about anything you want to talk okay. about. Yeah, so I, I did. I did finally see it. I saw a blurry screen grab version of it on YouTube. Um, you should have hit me up. I have a DVD quality. I learned that after I, I, I after I was reading on your <laughs> site. Yeah. So the artist's name is Toledo Diamond. Toledo he Diamond. He still performs I'm to this day. Uh, oh, Leo DiCaprio mm -hmm. was like, "Yo, come hang out with at the at the Union. I want, mm -hmm. want you guys to see this guy." And so we went to this club called the Union on Sunset Boulevard. Mm -hmm. Rolled in there, sat down. This guy comes out. My mind was the fuck blown. Two days later, drove down to the Union. He was rehearsing. Mm -hmm. I walked in. I was like, "I want to talk to you about maybe doing this movie," uh -huh. and he was in. Got it on location, so that was the Union Club okay. that Leo took us to. That was the actual uh, okay. club. Yeah, okay. that was on location. Where a uh, character played by Toby Maguire yeah, finds his chick. Yeah, his chick yeah. for the night. Yeah, his, um, what, what? Okay, M M the original opening. Meadow Sisto. Meadow Sisto was in that, yeah, and Marissa Rabisi, who is Giovanni Rabisi's sister, oh. and, and also and also wife to Beck artist right okay i did some i did a little research but i can't remember uh what i did and i didn't write it all down and marissa but, uh, ryan well the dialogue was all ad lipped uh so oh, okay. it was 100 uh, percent. the dialogue was 100 percent improvised uh, -huh. uh don's plum is a very special movie in, okay. in in many many ways uh, there was no american filmmaker really experimenting in the improvisational side of the world yeah they did partial improvs like mm -hmm. everybody did where you just you know oh we just let De Niro go and look what he did yeah. when the opportunity for Don's Plum came up I was like holy shit man I know how to do this because mm -hmm. of my experience with Sessions and my love of Mike Lee you can love it or you can hate it right, right. but you really can't deny it mm -hmm. by the way just pay attention to the likes and dislikes and you'll see that Don's Plum's by far People love uh, it. A liked movie, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, I, you know, as a Gen Xer in my 20s, I was like, fuck all you mm -hmm. calling me the laziest generation and yeah, this yeah. and that. Don't hold yourself back. Don't, mm -hmm. you know, don't inhibit yourself. I'm uninhibited. Yeah, 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 what yeah. you're witnessing is my mm -hmm. inhibition. And yeah. it's intimidating to you to know that the world actually can flow through me. You yeah, know? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like these are the pretentious thought. Yeah, sure, you know, sure. As, as, a, as a 50 year old man, I, I look back and I realize that mm -hmm. I was still doing the thing that I believed in, which was showing the world that we yeah. were we were as competent as ever. Mm -hmm. But it's not until now at 50 that I look back and go, holy fuck. <laughs> That's when I learned something about great acting. Mm -hmm. when, 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 when cutting Leo's performance there, I was like, yeah, you really are as good as, as yeah. they say. Feature film in six days, yeah. Larry. Nobody does that. Nobody does that. Yeah. Uh -huh. But they joined Don's Plum because they were excited about the experiment that we brought to yeah. the table. Freedonsplum.com. Okay. All it is is a Tumblr account. Uh, it's a place where I offer the opportunity for people to see the movie and if they want to read a little bit about it. But I wrote the letter uh, and I published it in 2014. But before that, you know, there was nothing. 
Nobody uh, talked about it. Dunsplum was fucking dead, and uh, they yeah. were good with it. It was trading in some fucking secret circles around the world, but otherwise mm. nobody gave a shit. There was a leech festival at Sundance called Slum Dance. If you look it up, it's fucking it's fucking incredible. Leech. We had these like beanies with happy faces, and that that identified no. Slum Dance as as okay. a festival. <laughs> I'm fucking smoking cigars in a fucking tent mm-hmm. with Jack Black and Tim Robbins watching fucking short movies. Wow. Like we had this like great John Waters. It was fucking amazing. Oh, we had this beautiful. incredible scene, right? <laughs> and Don's Plum, work print with time code and all, right? Is 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 playing at the Sundance. This is what it was like when people didn't know to hate the movie.